name's Jenny Clift. I am co-founder of DWM Solutions. Running through the last of my thoughts. DWM Solutions and Milan Industries, bringing the two businesses together has given us the opportunity to take the, the city to the country and the country to the city, bring the two businesses together, bring the teams together, bring the values together, and all of the services that we'd both developed and the experience and being able to bring those two together, that's really where we saw the biggest opportunity. The big differentiator between us and what I see in other IT service providers is we're really focused on the people. And that can be, a lot of that is around our staff, but it's also around our clients and our vendors. We have great relationships with all and providing that great level of service that they just keep coming back for. My name is Milan and I'm the Managing Director of Milan Industries. One of my first clients was my high school, Northcote High School, where I wrote software to assist in the Year 7 transition process from uh, all the primary schools in the adjacent area to help the teachers bring their student profiles for class matching in Year 7. Now we operate the IT infrastructure and cloud services for many uh, multinational companies, a couple of international companies and a lot of food manufacturers within the greater um, Melbourne area. As an outcome of this merger is allowed us to be a lot more client centric and customer focused. So everything that we do, our people deliver a customer first approach with everything. The culture that has flourished between the two companies has been quite amazing. Um, it's actually very interesting that no one had met each other during the merger process for six months until we were able to actually have our Christmas party after COVID laws relaxed. So just being able to have the teams come together and feel like they've, they were one big family really shows that our culture really flourished during that time. Hi, I'm Nick Clift, co-founder and director of DWM Solutions. DWM Solutions, I started with my wife Jennifer back in 2002, and where I kind of started as an IT support kind of company based in regional Victoria and over the last 20 years we've kind of developed into a managed service provider. Jenny and I have been looking for another business partner to expand our operations out of regional Victoria. And we kind of had this goal that, to find another company that had some more cloud services, maybe internet provision, stuff that we didn't traditionally do. So the primary driver was to find a partner that complemented our skill set and also could add value to our clients. And um, yeah, during the journey we kind of met Milan Industries and, and they have a cloud presence, and what we do now, um, and it kind of just gelled. And then there was a whole upside was being able to support our clients in the region better, but also being able to expand our business into metropolitan and take on new clients. So yeah, it was kind of a bit of a good match. I think when I first met Milan, he was very, um, yeah, he's obviously successful business like we were, but he was very kind of sure of himself and a bit maybe over cocky. But when we got together, we actually realised that he's super technical, like way, way more technical than what I am. And we've probably got a, had a better um, people culture management and the way we managed our, our clients and our staff was a little bit different. Um, and I think bringing those two skills together actually added a huge amount of value to both of the teams. The secret is to not to have problems. And to not have problems, you have to have people that are passionate about what they do and really want to look after the customer and prevent those problems. So really to get that going, you've got to really look after your people and then the people will look after your customers. So for us, it's not, it's not about having the fastest server or the, you know, the biggest laptop or anything like that. It's about the person that's sitting behind the keyboard. But bringing us together into the one brand, the, the purpose of that is to have a, a absolutely united front with all of our staff, all of our customers, and really get behind it. Because right now, it's, it, it is a challenge. Like, do you do it under this brand, under that brand? Uh, it gets confusing for suppliers, for customers. 
Um, and even for the staff, we have new staff now that have joined since we merged. And they, do they work for Milan Industries Group? Do they work for Milan Industries? Do they work for DW Solutions? Yeah, the clients are all kind of mixed up. It's a challenge. So I, I'm really looking forward to the, the common united front going forward with a, a new brand, a new name, and I'm super excited. Our brand represents the humans behind the technology. The human hands that make the tech work. Welcome to our new brand. Auto. Auto. Good evening everyone. I'm not very good at this so bear with me a little bit. I'd like to take a moment to thank everyone for coming tonight. 18 years ago I was sitting in a class during year 8 contemplating the decision of what to break next in the school's network. Who knew that this would end up forming a company of over 30 staff, more than 100 clients and more than 3,500 supported end users on a daily basis. Through the years I've met and worked for some of the most amazing people that have assisted me through this journey. Everyone that I've met in this room and not in this room have had an influence on me at some stage and I value that significantly. The next two, I don't thank enough. My parents, Steve and Francesca. <laughs> you've been here, you've been there through my ups and downs and you've seen me at my worst. Thank you for being there and supporting me. Meeting Nick and Jenny for the first time in Denver, Colorado was a very interesting experience. It was the first time I attended an industry event overseas and it was in Denver of all places in 2017. I'm pretty sure that at this event, Nick and Jenny thought I was a very arrogant individual and I thought, Fuck, who are these people in North Melbourne? Suffice to say, in a business sense, after three years of dating, we've ended up getting married. <laughs> Tonight is the culmination of a few things. Tonight we say goodbye to Milan Industries and DWM Solutions and begin our new journey. It is the first page in the chapter of our company's story. Nick and I started our first business together in 1996 in Northern Victoria. So we've been working together for nearly 25 years and married for more than 30 years. And we get so many comments on that. But for us, we've worked together to create our lives and our legacy. We've had so many supporters, advisors and people that we consider part of the DWM family along on this journey. So that we're not here all night, there's just a, a three people that I would like to thank. Firstly is our sons, Oscar and Sam. So Oscar's here tonight, Sam's in London. They've grown up with the business. They've always been our reason for doing what we do. And they are our constant reminder to stop talking about work. And the other one is Guy Newton. So Guy's been part of the DWM family for many, many years. When he actually joined the business he was contracting, he was a client at first, he took on the role of general manager and gave Nick and I the space to explore the possibility of really growing our business through a merger. So we really appreciate the role that guys played in getting us and DWM here tonight. On behalf of the entire Otto team, I'd really like to thank you all for joining us here tonight and help us celebrate the birth of Otto. I'd especially like to thank Jordan he has done an amazing job over the last three months putting this all together. So a big round for Jordan. Thanks, mate. And I'd like to thank Data Birth, Ollie, John and the team, um, and really working with us and bringing our, our brand 
to life. I mean, I think, hope you're like us, we can really see it coming to life. It's been amazing. I'd just like to take a moment to recognise the effort of our entire team. Um, you would have heard our stories in our videos earlier tonight, but honestly, from my heart to you guys, the two teams coming together during COVID, the culture, the values, the way everyone's put everything behind themselves and just got in and got things done. It's truly amazing and truly inspiring. So thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it.